We spent months investigating these Kinder Morgan pipe stockyards and we were never alone. There's a security officer right now watching us shoot this video and it could be someone who patrols where you live. Can I help you? Yeah, I just don't want you crossing that fence, okay? I think I would cross that fence. I'm just letting you know. Who, which agency are you with? No matter where we went along the Permian Highway pipeline, if you get anywhere close to it. Hello. Hey. Just want to make sure, sir, you're not blocking the driveway. You'll get a visit from local law enforcement. They're working for the Athos Group, a private security firm near Dallas, providing security for Kinder Morgan. The company says it's hired local peace officers across Texas to serve as security guards. Officers from local police to state troopers are providing security for the pipeline. Even the chief of Blanco Police is working security. You working on the pipeline, chief? I am. Why do you ask? I don't know. I just see you unlocking their <laughs> gate. I just didn't know if you were working for them. Sure am. Chief Michael Ritchie showed up to the Blanco Pipe Yard during our interview with an anti-pipeline group in March. He unlocked Kinder Morgan's gate, then turned his camera on us. Hey. Hi. The chief denied he was working for the Athos Group, but said he was performing security work. You don't know who negotiated the contract? No, I don't. But you're working for him? Yes, sir. The chief continued snapping pictures of our vehicles. We don't know what he did with them. That wasn't the only time that's happened. Two weeks ago, we watched two trucks being loaded with pipe in the Blanco stockyard. We followed those trucks out of Blanco and into Gillespie County to find out where Kinder Morgan planned to put them. Around 45 minutes into the trip. Getting pulled over right now by two, one was a constable. I don't know who this other guy is, but we'll find out. We lost track of those two pipe trucks. Good morning. Good morning, can I help you? Uh, yes, the reason I'm stopping you is uh, the workers ahead of you have claimed that you've been following them since Blanco, so they called us and I just need to okay. check it out. Yep. Do you have an idea on you? Somehow, the Gillespie County deputy knew we were at the Blanco yard earlier that morning. Uh, can I ask you a quick question? Was there also an incident that took place in Blanco this morning? An incident? Uh, something about, uh, I'm, I'm not saying it was you, I'm just going off some information that was given me, but did you go by the Blanco yard at this time before Possibly. Today? I mean, why, why are you asking? Because that was just some information I'm given and just given you following them since Stonewall from what I I, I am right now, I am trying to conduct my business as a news reporter. Okay. And now, you know, you guys are. Well, I mean, know, I got to report that, you, that somebody was following somebody and it looks suspicious. So I'm just trying to do my job. Uh, yeah, I, I get it, man. I know. Right. I, get I had it. a complaint. I had to check it out. All right. Just a few miles away. A Fredericksburg officer was working off-duty security for the pipeline in his taxpayer-provided police truck. Making contact with you, I was told that it uh, looked like you were over here filming or whatnot from the roadway. The Athos Group told us it wants well-trained people with authority who know the law protecting the pipeline. That's why the company hires licensed Texas police officers. This is concerning for some of those who've encountered these public servants working for a private company. And then they can use uh, their resources to get our information. Like, where do those pictures go? Athos says it's not intel gathering and they don't collect that information. Seems a conflict of interest. If we have a problem, who do we call? If you're looking for public records detailing these security agreements, well, you're out of luck. Both the city of Blanco and the Blanco County Sheriff's Office tell me they don't have contracts with this security company allowing their own officers to work these details. Those agreements are between the individual officers and the Athos Group, and those records are not public record.